Y'all, look at my hair. It's so pretty. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So, it's been officially two days since I've been completely natural. Today I'm going to do my first wash and go since chopping off all of my hair. Now you see there's not much hair on my head here and I'm actually so surprised that I'm even coming to you guys looking like this because I really thought that I would just be wearing high puffs for the next three to six years, you know? But um, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling kind of I'm every woman right now and I really didn't think I was gonna feel that way. But anyways, um, but all I really did, like my hair, not gonna lie, it has been in a puff like the past two days. <laughs> and all I did was just take it out so that you guys could see um, my starting point. And I, I did spray it with some water this morning too, so my gel is showing a little bit. So something I really wanna do differently this time around is incorporate bentonite clay treatments regularly into my regimen because something that I really didn't like about my black hair the first time or my completely full unprocessed natural hair the first time is that my clumps never seemed to curl together and my hair was always extremely frizzy for the most part. Okay, we are doing things differently this time. We certainly are. Uh, I'm gonna do wash and go today just to kind of see what my curls look like. This is like a rough draft because this is literally like the very first hairstyle that I'm doing since I cut my hair. If you haven't seen that video yet, go watch it because it was just, it was an emotional roller coaster. So anyways, before I do a wash and go, I'm going to do a bentonite clay treatment on my hair. Y'all have seen this a million times. I'll come back when there's like a patch in my head left. You guys, I'm so shook by how my hair looks right now. It's actually insane. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look-see at what we have going on here. Definitely love this for me. And then I'm just gonna come back when I'm completely done. This is without, I have like a little bit of clay in there because I keep wiping my excess clay on this part but this is one that's like thoroughly put through my hair and this is without it you see the dryness the no texture and then you just see the the glory back here come on somebody literally nothing in my hair right now hello good morning good afternoon Good night, everyone. You know, ooh, y'all should never let me cut my hair. It's about to be a problem, okay? So I think something that's helped me that I have never done before when I do my bentonite clay treatments, and maybe this is old news, child, I have no idea. After I rinsed it out with hot water, I then sealed my hair with cold water. And I mean cold, like my butt booty was freezing in there. Cold water seals in your moisture and also eliminates frizz. So, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some leave-in conditioner. Um, this is the TJ Miracle Repair Protects Leave-In Conditioner. Yeah, so we're just gonna... I cannot believe my hair looks like this right now. That's insane. Guys, my curls are insane right now. I'm just doing the lock method, my leave-in and my oil, and then I'm gonna do my cream. Okay, now that my leave-in and my oil have been placed in my hair. Now I'm going in with my cream and my gel. My regular wash and go combo, you guys. I just wanna see what my curls look like right now. I'm not trying anything new right now. This is just a test to see what my curls look like, and so far, so good. But yes, my curly curl cream, you guys, come on guys, we know this already. And I got my wet line gel, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the back. I'm gonna wet it again. Baby curls. They're so like small, but they're so cute. There you go. Look at my little babies. Hey girl. Hey. It's so pretty. 
It honestly feels like I have like a completely new set of hair from when I first big chopped. And I know that's not factual at all. It's just my hair is just so different now. I don't know if it's, I don't know. My hair was definitely not like this the first time I big chopped. But also, I had no idea what I was doing the first time that I big chopped either. So I didn't understand like porosity or like, I didn't know how many hair, te ah, how many hair textures I had. I didn't know what the heck a bentonite clay treatment was. So there are a lot of things that are different and I'm treating my hair differently than I did when I first big chops, but like this is a different experience completely. Like my hair is behaving so differently. Definitely love that for me, but please understand I'm not saying like, oh if you cut off all your hair it's gonna be better than it was the first time. Like that's not what I'm saying. It's just I know what I'm doing more this time than I did last time. It's working out well for me. It really is. My curls are being on such good behavior. Light helps you see better, but this looks so good. I'm gonna cry. Wow, that looks so good. So I'm just gonna run through this part of my hair and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm pretty much done, but I saved this top piece for us all to see because as most of you guys know, the top part is my problem area and it just normally is really limp and dead and it just does not curl ever. So we're gonna see today. Brush through really quick. It looks like I'm still gonna have to finger coil this part up here. Really not bad, actually. I don't know if you can see, I feel like this lighting is not doing me justice at all. And now that my hair is black, it's really hard to see um, like the imperfections as much as it was before. Also, hard to see imperfections when there aren't that many. You know what I'm saying? It's fine. So, now that I have this mop on my head, I'm just gonna shake now. Show you guys the back. Ah! All right, so I'm just gonna let my hair air dry for a little while and then I will come back and show you guys what my hair looks like. Hey you guys, it's the next morning. I'm so excited. Do you guys realize like I'm always like ready? Okay. Anyway, so it's the next morning and I'm ready to fix up my hair. I did it again. I'm ready to fix up my hair and see what it looks like. To just like. Uh, all right, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I, I figured it would look like this. Let me tell you, I had the worst sleep. I slept like this because I did not want to smush my hair. <laughs> Still new at this. So what I'm gonna do first, I wanna make sure this time around also that I'm taking care of my scalp a lot more. And this is where your hair is growing from. So you should probably take care of your scalp. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my hair and scalp oil by Niche Beauty. Okay, so before I touch my hair anymore, I shouldn't do this in the beginning. I just wanna show you what my hair looks like. I think it looks so good. So now I'm gonna take my pick and I'm just going to pick out my roots a little bit, fluff them out, get me a little bit more shape and volume. I'm using the She's Bomb Edge Control. really not about to be walking around with just my hair looking like this. As good as the curls look, I still wanna style my hair. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy scarf. This scarf been with me for a long time and I'm just going to put it in the front. Okay, 
So that is it. I do think my hair is a little uneven in certain parts, but I'll figure it out as I go. This is just like, it's all so new to me and it's new for me and I'm still trying to figure it all out and get like extremely comfortable shortness. So I'm not used to this, but I can I can get used to it. So thank you guys for being so supportive. I got so many nice comments and encouraging comments on my Big Chop video. I really appreciate you guys so much. It's insane, like you guys are just so nice. Say all that to say, wow, I don't have no earrings in or no lip gloss. Oh no, I'm not about to end the video like that. One second. Aren't y'all back right? Back right. So, like I was saying, I have no idea what I was saying, but I'm pretty sure I was saying something like thank you for being so supportive and all that good stuff. And I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. But let me just give you guys the 360 really quick. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.